appreciate them, um, to, to slaughter two small goats and make his father some stew because he wants Esau to make him stew out of venison. But Rebecca, who's being, I would say, let's say slightly deceitful or horribly lying, that would be more accurate, um, she conspires with Jacob. So Jacob kills two little goats, kids, and boils up a stew. And then he puts on some uh, uh, goat skins because Esau is a hairy character. And, and Rebecca dresses Isaac in um, Esau's clothing because Isaac can't see very well at this point. And so then Jacob goes into his father with the stew. And um, he's trying to disguise his voice, but it doesn't work very well. And so Isaac asks him to come close. And, Jacob puts out his arm with the goat skin on it, and, and Isaac smells them too, and he smells like Esau, and, um, which maybe wasn't the best thing, but uh, <laughs> and feels like him. And, and so, uh, because Isaac thinks he's on his deathbed, um, he decides to deliver a blessing to, hypothetically, to Esau. And so, but it's Jacob. And so that's a big deal too, because the blessing is actually, as I said before, with these ancient people, it appeared as so once you said something, you didn't get to take it back. You couldn't say, well, look, you, you deceived me, so it doesn't count. It was like, I, they weren't maybe as, as, well, weak might be one way of thinking about it, but another way is they, they weren't quite as attentive to context, you know, because if I make you a deal and then it turns out that you've betrayed me, I may feel that the deal is no longer valid because the assumption was you were being honest to be given it enough, you know, violates the whole spirit, but that isn't how these people thought. They said, once you promised, man, you promised, and that was that. 